I was um, a guest last year in uh, Florida, uh, Disney, to do um, a week at Disney and I happened to go to a restaurant one evening uh, in Birmingham, Alabama. I was staying with a friend of mine uh, and I've done uh, a lot of things with this uh, individual who's the dean of a college actually in Birmingham. I met Iman about a year ago. I released my first cookbook in the United States and it's all about hunting and fishing and wild game. And um, he, uh, he sits down at a, at a six course meal that I'm doing and I didn't know he was there. And at the end, I'm walking through the dining room and he, he tugs on my shirt and he says, oh, chef, chef, please come sit down. And so we sit down and, um, and we hit it off, right? Very, very nice guy, you know, very professional, but just a tremendous fellow. And he says, hey, look, you obviously have a cooking for, um, for wild game and fresh uh, meats and fish. Please come to Africa and cook all of ours. And so, so we did. So a year later, here we are at the Fairview in Kenya. A good friend of his is named Anthony Osborne, who's the director of the Culinard. It's a very, very good culinary school that's in Birmingham. Uh, I'm on the board at Culinard. Chef Osborne and I have been friends. I've tried to support the school since I've gotten there. And he came for the dinner. And he brought his, his buddy with him that he said he's been cooking with for a long time. And we all got to talking after the dinner. And he said, you know, I run the best hotel in, in Nairobi. And you guys should come and, and cook for a week or two. And we're like, yeah, okay. Sure, well, we'd love to do that. But then the emails started going back and forth. And it took almost a year. Um, <clears throat> it was November 16th of last year that we had that dinner. And we met Chef Amon and... I mean, it took a year, but here we are, and what a, what a fabulous opportunity it is. They seemed very enthusiastic, and, and I thought, wouldn't it be great, you know, to have somebody from uh, Southern USA come out here, and, uh, and, and that's how it happened. If you think of New Orleans, you think of flavor, right? And uh, we have Mardi Gras, we have Jazz Fest, we have these big festivals, but people go down there to eat. And, you know, you think of jambalaya, you think of gumbo, and it's all about seasoning, it's all about spice, it's all about flavor. So for us, it's a good combination of African cuisine, but Spanish, French, American, um, and also anything we can get out of the local farmer's market. And we combine all those ingredients together to create really America's first fusion food uh, that dates back 200 years. Cinnamon and some star anise. We'll take this, we're going to put it on the stove, and we're going to reduce it all the way down. We'll use that as the base of our vinaigrette. Okay? Some Tabasco is always great, huh? At this point, it's only going to take about three or four minutes to cook. We'll reduce all that great flavor down, and then we're going to emulsify it with a bit of vegetable oil. And you can certainly use great olive oil, something like this. But it's light, flavorful, fun, makes a great vinaigrette for your salad. All right, so in this pan, we've got some uh, brown sugar. We've got great vinegar. We have cinnamon, some star anise, and, um, and uh, we're going to reduce that down with some fresh Tabasco sauce. If that all comes down together, we'll strain it off. We're going to emulsify some oil in with some ice. We're going to use that for a great autumn salad with apples, dates, some Stilton cheese, and also some roasted pecans. And it should be a great starter for any day. So with this salad dressing, we want to make it as light as we can. So we're not going to have any eggs in it. So we just have vinegar, sugar, and the spices. We drain it off, and as it's cold, you emulsify the oil, and you don't need any other fat at all, okay? Just a bit of oil and that's it. So no eggs, 
emulsify it, and it's very good. It's got great flavor, but very light. Yeah, good. And we're gonna go up. Uh... What we're gonna do here is uh, once we've strained all the liquid, we'll put it on an ice, we'll grab an emulsion blender, and we're gonna add just a bit of olive oil. We're gonna finish that with some Creole seasonings, a good combination of cinnamon, uh, the Tabasco, cayenne pepper, paprika, garlic, onion, and a bit of salt and pepper. Gives it a good amount of spice there. We add that in, finish our greens, we're gonna add stilted cheese, some candy pecans, vinaigrette around the outside, and also some spicy bacon. Good. This is a beautiful cinnamon vinaigrette. What we have here is brown sugar, a little bit of vinegar, also a bit of a Tabasco sauce. We emulsify that with oil, but no egg. We're gonna make this nice and light, huh? We're gonna finish with some salt, some pepper, some star anise, and that is it. We have some apples here, some stilted cheese, candied dates. We're gonna round out our salad like that. This is a um, medjool date and apple salad. We have some fresh baby greens here, spiced pecans, a bit of uh, cinnamon vinaigrette with some star anise. We're gonna build this whole thing with some fresh Stilton cheese and a little Tabasco sauce. Certainly one of our favorites from Louisiana. Well, we've seen it all week. It's spicy. Mm -hmm. Totally. Yeah, great. It's been great having these guys around. You know, we've been very busy. And um, Tori came in two hours late today. Yeah. <laughs> a couple of tough girls, huh? <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> no, no, great. Super. Okay, I mean, really, really tasty. Tasty food. Yeah, infused, huh? Really. Well, in, in the United States right now, it is um, autumn. Okay, so we're just going from summer into winter. And for us, the flavors are changing as we go. And so we have um, four big menu changes a year. And what we do with this one, it is a uh, fresh apple and we decided to do some medjool dates. Okay, here's julienne those with the apples, fresh greens, some stilted cheese, spicy pecans, and a bit of cayenne bacon. We dress the entire thing with a bit of uh, Tabasco and cinnamon vinaigrette, and it brings all those great autumn flavors together. And it is a, a fantastic salad, great way to start a meal, and uh, it's a lot of fun too. Uh, I, think that's the, I think that's the most amazing part uh, here in Africa is you, is you get a fresh tomato, and it's like, wow, it's a tomato. You know, you get, um, you know, the garlic is very fresh and the artichokes are fresh and the, all the fresh herbs and it really makes the, the dishes pop. And, you know, just a bit of seasoning, a fresh flavor, that's, I mean, you, you go anywhere and, and get basic things, but here in Africa, man, the flavors are great. They really are.